sound speeds. But how far will that sound travel? And at what distance can you no longer hear that sound anymore? In this video, we're going to discuss just that. It all boils down to SPL or sound pressure level, basically volume. Human hearing is optimized to hear about four to 6,000 hertz. Now we can hear above and below that, but that is the optimal range. And outside of that range, it takes more of those frequencies for us to actually hear them at the same volume level as we hear between four and 6,000 hertz. The human ear also also hears differently according to the volume of that sound. So it's not as simple as putting it all on one chart and saying, this is the human hearing curve, and now you can plot out how you need your speakers to sound accordingly. This is where the term weighting comes from. Weighting is basically the human ear frequency response at different volumes. A weighting is up to about 55 dB. 55 dB to 85 dB is B weighting, and C weighting is anything over 85 dB. If you want to see it on a spectral analyzer, a frequency response chart basically, then check out this video, Colors of Noise. So if you're trying to set up a listening environment, you want to select the correct weighting according to that environment. A nightclub would be C weighting because it's over 85 dB. A studio environment would be 55 to 85 dB, therefore B weighting is your optimal choice. And for something like a library where you're trying to hear fan noise and stuff, then obviously below 55 A weighting is your option. Sound is simply vibration, and the higher the vibration, the higher the pressure, and the higher the SPL, therefore it sounds louder. If you want to see how loud something is, you can look it up online, and that's where you'll learn that a nightclub is in the 120 decibel range, and a firearm is in the 160 decibel range as a general rule. And if you want to see what your environment is around yourself, get yourself a sound decibel meter. This one here, if you notice, it says DBA on it. That means decibel a weighted. OSHA's website also contains a lot of information about sound exposure duration. So if you're curious as to how long you can safely listen in a particular environment, go to their website and look it up. Distance is also something you have to think about when you're looking up how loud something is in decibels. For example, 165 decibel firearm at what distance? As a general rule, that is at one meter. Every time you double your distance away from a noise source, you're decreasing the pressure of that sound by half. And that corresponds to about six decibels. So at one meter of firearm that's about 165 decibels is going to be 165 decibels. But at two meters, it's going to be 159 decibels. And at four meters, it's going to be 153 decibels. And every time you double that distance, you decrease it by 6 dB. Keep that in mind when trying to figure out how far away your microphone needs to be from a gunshot to not damage the microphone. Here's some trivia for you. In the air, the loudest a sound can be without distorting is 194 decibels. And the reason is because if you look at a wave, you have a peak and a valley. That peak isn't what you look at, it's the valley. That valley is the negative pressure because remember, sound is simply vibration and vibration is pressure when it hits a microphone. The positive pressure, negative pressure of the wave. That negative pressure becomes a vacuum at 194 decibels. So anything higher than 194 decibels, you can't have negative vacuum, therefore it's going to distort. But you can achieve higher than 194 decibels of undistorted sound in mediums other than air, for example, water. In water, the valley of that sound wave is not going to achieve a vacuum at 194 decibels. Therefore, you can continue to crank it up and it's not going to distort as early as it would in air. You can crank that thing way up, which makes it a lot more damaging to your ears hearing louder volumes in water. There's your crash course in SPL. I hope you learned something. Tune in to additional episodes of Sound Speeds in the future where you hear more random sound facts and more sound advice. Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.